garage time got my absolute black oval chain ring to replace on the Ripley I've got the Shimano what is it Shimano XT build it's the M8100 uh, drivetrain the um, the one I got is the the 32 tooth equivalent and should work just direct replacement without having to do anything shouldn't have to change the the linkage on the chain or any of that good stuff so here it goes and here to assist me is Luna Luna the garage dog Let's open this thing up check it out it came in just this little envelope and that's it and it's just this chain ring oh the ovalness came with this little personal note from the founder and if you look carefully at the fine print it actually has instructions how to do it the ring itself is actually um, a little bit concave and they say put the convex side towards the crank arm which is this side so it will kind of offset it inward let's see crap I need to get rid of I think this was a five millimeter So the, the left side crank has uh, two five millimeter hex on each side here and here. Um, this happens to be a stages power meter, this left side crank arm. And um, it's just a direct replacement. So if you have a normal Dior XT crank arm, it's it's all the same. So gonna loosen these two Allens and um, also have this center piece, which I have the tools for. I guess I should have shown these two. Some of the tools that I bought. Where's the other piece? There it is. All right, so uh, we'll see what that is later, but that's to actually take the retaining nut off and then this little tool is to, to take this uh, center piece out. It's just a giant Torx bit and this should do that. Cute. The little uh, wing nut with the Torx bit. We will put that in the pocket. I guess I could have washed the bike. Ah. And just, uh, Unloosen like maybe a quarter to half a turn on each side. Don't just unloosen one side completely, then the other it binds up the, the four. 
course. You want it to be nice and even. Probably doesn't matter so much for um, loosening it, but for putting it back on, you do. Then we should just put this dude in there and spin out this little. I don't know what it's called, but. parts together and then this should just if it's loose enough it should just slide out but I think I need to loosen a little bit more and there is this little plastic uh, piece in the center that maybe you have to raise up Yep. That's it. Then we have our stages power meter completely off. Or left side crank arm. Whatever you happen to have. Then, one thing that I didn't do beforehand was take the chain off. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop it off of the ring and put it on the inside rather than um, take the whole thing apart. So I'm going to loosen the clutch on the derailleur. Then, with a mallet, where's my mallet? So, got a rubber mallet, um, and it should just give this a little tappy. See it moving, and then it slides right out. Boom! That's it. Easy peasy. And there it is. And boy, that's dirty. Okay. Gonna clean this up a little bit, but you can see what I did here. I just I left the chain just resting right there, and I'll push the push it right back in and pop the chain back on. So I didn't even have to take the chain off. Okay, take this time to clean a little bit. This side right here is the little nut that we have to take apart. And that is pretty dirty. LRT-4 is the, the park tool. Shimano direct mount, uh, 41 millimeters. And this should just go down. Yep. And then it just locks in place there. And then I got this Pro foot from Park Tool TWB36 and it fits right on there and then that should let me torque it on and on and off. That's 
set. Got it loose. Spin this all the way off. All the way out. And then you can kind of see that it also has that kind of concave uh, shape to it. So that offset, Let me pull this out. And these things are keyed. Now, this has a little little plastic bit to it. I wonder if I need to keep that. I don't know. But let's clean this off a little bit. Okay, then they say the convex side, which is convex is like if it's a cave, I always think of like a cave is concave, like it goes in and convex is like the outer part. So... Not only that, but it's got these little hollow, not hollow, but uh, indents on these little circles that you don't see on the, the outer side. So the outer side is nice and smooth or flat-ish. And then the inside's got these little pieces. I don't know, that might be for weight reduction or I don't know. And then there is a bigger tab, so this only goes on one way, which is nice. And then it should just, boom, just slides right on. Looks good. Okay. It could possibly live there, why not? I'll put it there. Okay. And then I've got some multi purpose waterproof grease that I'm going to smear on here. Not really worried about getting too much. I'll wipe off the excess when I'm done. <clears throat> I don't know if I really need to put any on the shaft, but. Okay, again, convex side down. I've got my little plastic container in there. Where's the big piece? There it is. Um, where are you? That's it. There we go. Nice.
Okay, slip this piece back on. Red side down, obviously. Spin it to get it started. There it goes. Now it's finger tight, and it actually says 35 to 50 newton meters. Okay, so the little torque wrench only goes up to, looks like, about 23.2 newton meters, so that's not quite enough. We're going to have to use the big one, but the big one is in... Um, I believe it's well one side says DA newton meters and the other side is foot pounds so we want between 35 and 50 newton meters so I'm guessing DA newton meters is like a, a decade that des you know like a times 10 maybe but not sure so anyways let's ask Google Hey Google, what is 40 newton meters in foot pounds? 40 newtons meter is approximately 29.502 foot pounds. So 29.5, so we'll just go up to 30. That's 20, and that's 30. <clears throat> hey Google, what's 50 newton meters in foot pounds? 50 newtons meter is approximately 36.878 foot pounds. All right, so we'll do about, we'll do 32. Lock that in. <clears throat> and now I need a, a half inch. Okay. <clears throat> Had to get creative here. Could not find my my proper adapter for my half inch torque which is set for 32 foot pounds which should be should be about I don't know <clears throat> 40 45 to 48 Newton meters. Back guy down. That's it. We are torqued down. All right, then just uh, slide it back in. Yep, 
So it's pushed all the way in. Um, okay, and the one thing I was worried about was the clearance, but it looks like we're good. We're good, Luna. We're good, girl. We're good. All right, we'll reinstall the the left crank arm, aka power meter, if you happen to have a power meter. So this plastic tab is pushed up, and then it goes obviously the opposite way that the, the crank arm would go. There is a little groove. should fit into I'm gonna put a little more grease in that on these splines And whatever this little inner piece is called. Just goes in there. And it, it doesn't really go in tight if I remember right. Push that in, and then this little plastic piece you pop down. Um, so one thing about the power meter was that there's not a huge amount of clearance. It's got this little battery pack, and I had to had to kind of walk it out. Okay. Then we torque down the five millimeter Allen's, uh, twelve to fourteen newton meters, thirteen. Got a five millimeter um, we'll just yeah, walk these
engage the clutch. Yard torque. Okay, all torqued down. We don't have a lot of clearance on the power meter, which is kind of a problem with the power meter, but um, but here it is. Brand new oval chain ring. Looks like it's good. You can see it wobbling. All right, I'm gonna go take it for a test drive. Thank you. 